Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics. Uh, quick tip! So today we cover the probably one of the most requested rooms uh, from uh, all my uh, commenters, the cafe. Now, I've been doing a lot of testing with the cafe, and I came this close to dismissing it outright and declaring it a nothing but trouble room that should never be included in any hospital. And honestly speaking, if you decide not to use the cafe in your hospital, you're fine that you get the you get the pin star stamp of approval on that one because in order to use the cafe properly you gotta kind of alter the way you sort of structure your hospital and in a way structure your staff uh let me explain explain here so uh, let's first off, let's cover a uh, design for the cafe that I have in mind here. We'll go ahead and build ourselves a cafe. Now, as far as where in your hospital the cafe should go, pick somewhere as central as you can get away with without completely gutting the rest of your operation. Now, here we are at a post three stars tumble here. Um, and this is about as central as I can get without completely upending everything. So we're going to go ahead and put it right here. Because uh, most of the relevant stuff can get there relatively quickly. Uh, now, because the cafe is so stupidly large, the minimum size... Where are you? Uh, there we are. The minimum size, 5 by 4 And that's probably one of the cafe's greatest weaknesses here, is this gigantic footprint. You can't really sneak this thing in. Uh, into little nooks and crannies the way that you can a staff room uh, or other uh, or other rooms but there is a method to the madness of using cafes so we're gonna do the bare minimum here five by four like so can't uh, just like a ward you can't put the doors on the corner so we're gonna put the door right here now for the cafe itself we're gonna want to um, we're gonna want to get this uh, up a little bit here uh, let's say like right about here ish, but we're also going to want to build a second one of these things. Um, and this may seem a little, a little odd here. Um, in fact, what we could probably do is, yeah, go, go up like this, put them sort of facing each other so that they fit up here at the top and you do want two of them. Um, now cafe table and chairs. Um, we don't want to be, we don't want to go too crazy here. What we do want to do is we want to put them, uh, just for relatively quick and easy access for two sets of them. Um, but a boom, but a bing. That should allow people to get up here and down here eating real quick. And of course we can't forget a food bin. We only need one of these. We put that right here by the door. Um, now for accoutrement, of course we need our temperature fixers. Um, radiator or what have you we can do oh we can do um, we do one like right here in the center here although that might get in the way a little bit um, the other thing you could do is stick one up here and then one further down here I'll get rid of this outside one because this is an outdoor style room so it kind of bleed like the heat and the attractiveness bleeds into the outside world um, so there you have it um, as, oh yeah, one last thing uh, that we do need. We do need some sort of attractiveness. And again, no walls to hang stuff on. So we do need uh, some form of attractiveness. We're going to go ahead and put uh, sunflower right here. And then maybe one right here where it's not going to really uh, get in people's way. All right. So decent uh, level two prestige uh, room. Let's build it. Now... Here's probably the most important part of the cafe. The number one tip. If you, if you are insistent on using a cafe, no patience. No patience! No patience in the cafe ever. Ever. Down that way, madness lay. Do not let your patience use the cafe if you're going to use a cafe in the first place. You hear me? I, I will learn. I will know. Don't ever, ever use patience. No way this is worth it. It causes nothing but collapse for your hospitals. However, 
Using the cafe as a mega staff room exclusively for your staff, now that has some virtues. But we need to do a bit more. In a way, you need to change your way of thinking. You need to think of it less as a cafe and more as a big staff room, a centralized staff room. Um, and it does have some perks over your uh, garden variety of staff room, but it basically can fulfill every need. Uh, hunger, thirst, it even gives a boost to happiness, and it gives you a buff that uh, not only boosts their happiness, but also causes their energy to go down slower, allowing them to work longer between breaks. The only thing it can't do is relieve their need for a bathroom. So I'm actually going to introduce a complimentary building right here, a toilet. So, now this is going to deviate from my uh, Lou by four and the maternity ward here in that this is going to be a minimum size bathroom, three by two. Um, and it is going to be staff only. In fact, we're going to put it right here next to the uh, cafe. In a sense, it's, it, it, consider it to be part of the same room. So when you're blocking off this space here, consider this little area as part of the needed space for it. Because you want this bathroom right here, right next door. Boom. Now, to maximize capacity, or I should say crapacity, um, what you want to do here is we're going to be able to squeeze actually three toilets into this beast. One, two, and three. We can also get to make sure that we uh, have doctors and nurses washing hands, because not doing that would be bad, a sink. Now for the hand dryer, no hand dryer. You don't need the hand dryer. It's actually a lot faster um, to uh, get them through there without the hand dryer. Uh, heating or temperature correction is eh, small radiator right here in the corner out of the way. Um, and some gold star awards to uh, reward them for using the toilet like grown adults. Level three is fine, but a boom. Now, this bathroom, once again, make sure no patience. Now, here's another, another aspect uh, that makes this room more important. If you are going to pursue a centralized break room cafe, you do not want break rooms elsewhere in your hospital, and you want the toilets that are elsewhere in your hospital to be patient only. No staff. You want your, to funnel your staff to this area, to this centralized area. Um, now, the downside to that is that depending on where they are in the hospital, when they take their break, they have some time to, uh, to uh, make their way over there. It takes, uh, takes some traveling time. Uh, but that's not always necessarily the case. The upside to this is that it actually frees up space in the rest of your hospital construction because you don't need to pepper uh, staff rooms everywhere. So as you can see, I've kind of, I built my, uh, my, my uh, diagnostic mosh pit here traditionally, but then when I started experimenting, I just ripped the staff room out. I stripped the staff room out of all of my mosh pits here and even had a little impromptu one that I ripped out here and all the toilets in the hospital have been set for patient only uh, except for this one. Staff, this is the only place the staff can go. But there's a reason for that. I'm not just being mean. Let's, uh, let's unpause here. Uh, now one other thing you may be asking is, Pinstar, are you... Um, are you, um, why, why two of these things? If you're only going to allow staff to come in here, can't, couldn't one of these guys keep up with the volume? Oh yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, only one of these uh, is needed, but here's the, here's my, here's my reasoning behind this. The, um, the reason behind having two here is coverage. The last thing you want is for a doctor or nurse to, or, or, or other staff member to go on break, walk all the way here, only for the assistant running the place to go on break and finding themselves unable to fulfill any of their needs. That's no bueno, no bueno at all. In fact, you're gonna see for a little while, nobody's gonna make their way over here because we had no uh, we had no staff on here. They actively look for a manned cafe station when deciding, hmm, I'm hungry. What do I want to do? Um, so once you have this up and running in, as long as there's proper coverage, then you're going to have your staff coming in here. Um, 
Now, the other reason uh, for for having these centralized toilets, and I'm hoping one of my uh, staff members will uh, help demonstrate this point for me properly in a moment, um, is the toilets. The toilets uh, being in a single centralized location is good for several reasons. All right, so here, look at this. Person went to the toilets. Now they're just gonna pop right in. This is the first reason we want the toilets next to the cafe is that the um, they have easy access to fulfill all their needs. If they happen to hit the cafe first, they'll probably have to go to the bathroom. Bathroom's right next door. If they happen to hit the bathroom first, cafe's right next door. Either way, they can make real efficient use of their break. Um, now that being said, you are going to need to give them a little bit more of an allotment into their breaks. I find probably the best policy here is a break duration of 25 days. It's a little bit more generous, but again, they only go on break if they need to go on break. Um, and by eating at the cafe, let's take a look at this. So he's not only does eating at the cafe uh, uh, fill up his uh, hunger and thirst, but it also uh, fills up energy faster, like faster than you would at uh, in in an actual break room now watch this so he's about to finish his break puts the stuff away nice meal this nice meal buff is really the whole reason why you would ever want to bother with a cafe um, yeah, I know you're, I know Mr. Monopoly guy is going to whine about, uh, about the staff needing a staff room. They can come to the cafe. They can recover their energy here. Um, this nice meal buff, not only does it give them a, uh, um, a higher happiness boost. And once their happiness is above a certain threshold, then they get, um, uh, the happy buff of the I love my job, which gives them actual functional practical benefits without needing to pay them extra for actual functional practical benefits. But also this nice meal buff sticks around for a while and keeps the energy bar from going down for a while. Um, it actually makes it real slow. I, I, I clocked it in in about four whole minutes of, um, uh, of the uh, happy buff uptime. Um, before they, they expend enough energy to lose that after having a well a fueled meal. And that's on normal speed. So here, it just, it they take longer breaks. You need to give them longer breaks, but they take fewer breaks. Um, and the time when they come back from their break is extra, extra, extra productive because of all their buffs and bonuses. Now, ah, here's the other reason. Um, um, this guy right here was a fine demonstration is if you only have one bathroom in the entire hospital where your uh, staff can uh, can relieve themselves and they are from the, another place chances are when they go on break there they will be desperate for the toilet at which point they will do the prairie dog sprint as you saw our, our uh, consultant friend here do a moment ago that means they will break into a sprint they will book it from across the hospital wherever they were uh, all the way to the bathroom that will get them you know here fulfilling their needs faster so the fact that this is in a centralized place and and uh, people have to travel a while to get to it is kind of mitigated by uh, by the fact that uh, you might have people just sprinting here uh, to take care of one of their needs now there's no guarantee that when oh, here comes another prairie dogger um there's no guarantee that just because someone goes on break, they're going to be desperate for the toilet. Um, that's that's not always a guarantee, but it happens often enough that the effect helps you out. Because now um, Mandy here has uh, has has finished up her stuff. I don't want to listen to awards season. Um, so she's uh, she's hungry, and uh, so finished up her doing there. Bada boom, bada bing, into the cafe and gold. So I'm kind of on the fence here. I, I looked at some of the, uh, the, the trends here on, um, on staff happiness and staff productivity um, before and after I uh, implemented this. And it's been kind of even keel. Um, I implemented it around here. Uh, and actually I implemented around back here. So it got a little better, a little bit worse here. Here, this is probably representing because I haven't been paying people enough. So this this decline in uh, energy, happiness is not, um, or not energy, um, 
morale, this little decline in morale has just been me not paying people enough and training them aggressively because I was doing testing, dang it. But anyway, um, one, last, uh, one, one last pair of things to add to this here, and that is on the outside. We want a big bin right here. And we want ourselves a plant of some sort out here. Just to sort of uh, top all this off. A sunflower should be fine. The reason for the sunflower, obviously, is to give attractiveness to this area. The reason for the bin is sometimes you'll have staff that they go on break and they're hungry, but they won't necessarily go to the cafe. They'll hit up a snack machine and, they'll, and then they'll make their way over here, uh, probably to use the bathroom. But they'll probably have litter in their pocket. And at, by the time they finish that, they'll uh, whoop decide to, oh, hey, there's a bin. So this bin right here, just an all-purpose good litter collector uh, for your staff here. Um, so that, my friends, is the, um, is the cafe, the uh, staff, the staff -a, I would, I would call this the, the staff -a. So once again, it's a mega staff room. Don't let patients use it. Uh, so, uh, uh, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So, until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!